The cotton picker is an amazing invention that revolutionized the cotton industry when the first machines became commercially successful following World War II. Over the course of seven decades since the first commercial cotton pickers were introduced, they have grown in capacity from one-row tractor-mounted machines to six-row self-propelled machines capable of harvesting up to 10 acres per hour. Before the invention of the cotton picker, all cotton was harvested by hand. Today, a six-row cotton picker is capable of picking the same amount of cotton in one day as more than 250 hand laborers were able to harvest. But how do these cotton pickers actually work? How does the machine only remove the cotton fiber from the plants while leaving the rest of the plant behind? The row units, otherwise called heads, are responsible for all of the work. The yellow snouts on this picker pick up low hanging branches and guide the plant into the head. Inside the head is where all of the work occurs. Each head has two spinning drums that the cotton plants must pass by. Each drum is fitted with bars which hold rotating steel fingers with barbs called spindles. As the drums rotate, the spindles rake through the cotton plant and the barbs on the spindles snag the cotton lint and pull the cotton out of the hull. The front drums have 16 bars with 20 spindles on each bar. The rear drums have 12 bars with 20 spindles on each bar. Each row unit has a total of 560 spindles. The drums turn at extremely high rates of speed. After the spindles grab the cotton from the plant, the spindles pass under a rotating urethane pad with lugs called doffers. The doffers are spinning the opposite way that the spindles are. As the spindle passes under the doffer, the cotton is knocked off and thrown into the suction door. The cotton picker has an onboard high speed fan which blows air at high velocity through the suction doors. This high velocity air carries the cotton through the air ducts and blow the cotton into the basket. The basket is where the cotton is held until it is unloaded into the module builder. As the basket fills, augers compact the cotton to fit more cotton into it. The baskets on six row pickers can typically hold about five bales of cotton. Now this is where the design of modern cotton pickers can differ. The most modern cotton pickers have onboard module builders and do not need any extra machines in the fields to put the cotton into a package that can be transported to the gin. These pickers can harvest nonstop without ever having to stop to dump. However, this efficiency com comes with a big price tag. These uh, module building pickers are extremely expensive with new ones co costing close to $900,000. After the basket is full, the operator usually unloads the basket into a bowl buggy, which will then carry the cotton to the stationary module builder. Now that you've seen how a cotton picker works in slow motion, let's see what it looks like at full speed. Now that you've seen how a cotton picker works, you can appreciate the advancements in technology that bring the cotton fiber from the field to your store. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe to our Griggs Farms LLC channel and check out our other farm videos. I'll close with some interesting facts about what one bale of cotton will produce. Also, please remember the next time you make your purchasing decisions to buy and wear more cotton. Cotton is the world's most plentiful, sustainable fiber.